there are many groups out there that are involved in various environmental or sustainable type programs. Some people are very passionate about the Barrier Reef, others are very passionate about bush regeneration, um, some people just want to simply reduce their energy use. We can all do something, but I think we're all pointed in the right direction and that is quite simply to create a more sustainable future for our children. We're at a point now where it's, we, we are, it's, it's urgent, you know, we've got to start taking action right now and we need to reduce our carbon emissions by at least double what we're doing. Um, and the only way that's going to happen is through awareness. My dream is for every household in Australia to have a rainwater tank, to have switched to green energy and to at least have a portion of their house running off solar. I think if we could make those three simple steps, we could just place far less impact on the planet and make a real difference. I'm involved in a range of projects when it comes to reducing the world's carbon emissions. I was one of the climate change ambassadors uh, chosen for the climate change project. Uh, there are only a couple of hundred of us here in Australia that, that came on board. But I had the pleasure of meeting Al Gore and, and, and training with him for two or three days. And he's without a doubt one of the best communicators I've ever met in, in my life. Um, inspirational, his knowledge is just never ending. And when someone's been at one subject for 28 years, you know they're gonna, they're gonna know what they're talking about. And just to spend that small amount of time with him was enough for all of us to walk out some, some, after some sessions in tears and after some laughing with joy, you know, because there is a lot we can do. Um, there is a plan of action and it's not all doom and gloom, but we had to shake a lot of the skeptics with these statistics and Al did that very well with the inconvenient truth. Well certainly one of the most positive things that have happened in regards to climate change over the last five years is that more people are becoming aware and you consider that even with things like Earth Hour there are you know a billion people now becoming aware of climate change and switching their lights off in 62 countries around the world. Imagine what we can achieve over the next decade. Well the beautiful thing about Earth Hour is that it started here in Australia just three years ago and it really is an amazingly powerful tool to get the message out there because you see a lot of people in the neighbor neighborhood turning their lights off and you go, oh, what's going on, what's going on? Gets people talking, suddenly they're on board, more lights are being turned off, more awareness is happening. What, it, what, are, the, what are the reductions of just one hour? Well, it isn't just the reduction of what happened on that evening. It's about the awareness and it's about cutting through to all those people worldwide. And it's a testament that the world really is waking up. And if that many people show support, then our world leaders are going to go, hmm, okay, everyone's watching. This really is an issue. World leaders are now starting to gather regularly to talk about climate change. We're now actually putting, you know, um, carbon targets in place, whereas five or eight years ago it was, is climate change an issue? So those sorts of things are really encouraging. What I'm doing with Origin Energy is we're actually getting out there to school groups and different sorts of communities and we're teaching the kids how to get the messages out there about climate change and how to reduce your carbon footprint and so forth. And so they get involved in a whole bunch of little school projects and they come back with their responses and their data and then we judge them and we go in and build them a garden in response for a, as a reward. Now that's a really positive tool because when you're infusing that, those sorts of messages into young children, imagine how powerful they're going to be in 10 years time when we really, really need it. So it's pretty easy to get involved. If, if any of the school groups want to get involved or community groups, they basically just get onto the Origin Energy website uh, and take the directions from there. I guess the biggest danger about climate change is that most people sit there and say, well, what can I do and will it really make a difference? And if everyone said that, we would never get any headway. It's about coming together as a community and doing small things as a group. My call to action is for every household in Australia to have a rainwater tank and for every household in Australia to convert to solar for their hot water system switch to green energy. I've done it. It's very simple to do, but you can, you can basically choose a range of different programs and you can choose to be 100% green energy or 20 or 40 or whatever you like. But do your research and make sure that you're 
taking the greenest path that you possibly can afford. Um, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Some, in some cases, it's only a dollar a week, you know. Take a look at the, the hot water system that you have in your own home. Um, a lot of companies out there now are actually switching your existing hot water system to a solar system. And that doesn't mean replacing the whole thing. It just means simply attaching a solar panel to your roof. And instead of plugging into um, coal-fired power, you basically plug into the solar, solar system. It's very easy and it's not a lot of money. Uh, a rainwater tank, everyone needs to put a rainwater tank in. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, you absolutely need to. Well, certainly one of the decisions that I made in, within my media career was to move to a network um, that was more in line with a green policy and Channel 7 was my choice. It wasn't a financial decision. It was certainly one that was pointed more in, in the direction of the environment. Um, I think if more businesses out there in Australia did that and they actually started asking their employees how they felt about the environment via their policies, we would be a lot better off. Climate change is certainly real. It's happening all around us. Um, you know, another two more degrees and Australia will have lost one of our greatest assets, the Great Barrier Reef. If we don't start taking action very quickly, more will be lost. Um, and the, every country in the world has a barrier reef story. I think over the, over the last few hundred years we've been very focused on moving forward, economics, technology, all those sorts of things, um, and not so focused on nurturing our planet. And our planet's given us so much. I think we're in the age of awareness now and we're just starting to wake up and starting to give back to, to our gorgeous planet.